everyone, and welcome to our channel. In this episode, we will continue exploring microfossils. It seems like the gelatin capsule with the sample from Beechwood Limestone Formation is our best so far. We found plenty of conodonts of various shapes and colorations. Join us while we are sifting through a pinch of tiny particles, looking for enigmatic fossils called conodonts. You will not regret it. There will be pointy conodonts and those that look like leaves. Some of them are pale brown and translucent, and others have a vivid reddish hue, and they are all spectacular. In previous episodes, we discussed the possible origins of conodonts and their color index, reflecting changes in color depending on the temperature the fossils were subjected to deep under the Earth's surface. However, the heterogeneous mix we see here may be an example where the color is defined not only by the temperature, but also by the mineral content of the matrix surrounding the fossils. The red color is often the result of the presence of iron oxides. The geological formation called Beechwood Limestone Member was given its name early last century. It was a crinoidal limestone deposit discovered near Beechwood Station of Louisville in Kentucky. According to the label provided by the vendor, our sample comes from Speed, Indiana. This is one of designated reference sections along with the one in Louisville in Kentucky and the other two in Indiana at North Vernon and Elizabethtown. In addition to conodonts, the Beechwood limestone contains glauconite and macrofossils like bivalves, bryozoans, brachiopods, and crinoids. Despite the variety of forms, most of the conodonts we see here belong to one genus called Palignathus. Conodonts occur in so-called assemblages, or certain combinations of several, and often very different, forms of dentitions. This is what geologists call Polygnathus varcus zone, corresponding to Gervatian subdivision of Devonian period, approximately 388 million years ago, plus minus 3 million years. By that time, jawless fish started to decline, giving way to jawed fish, the very lineage that will eventually lead to the appearance of lungfish crawling out of water to conquer the land. By the way, limestone is a popular building material in Indiana, starting from the early days of pioneers. It is a fireproof material and suited well for urban architecture. Next time you see the Empire State Building, U.S. National Cathedral in Washington, D.C., or the Pentagon, Think about the Indiana limestone and the fact that it contains remnants of organisms who lived millions of years ago. To be fair, the Indiana limestone can be of different periods. For instance, Mississippian limestone is of good quality material, but I'm convinced that somewhere in building blocks lay hidden and invisible to the naked eye, conodonts. Thanks for watching and good luck on your fossil searching trips. Bye.